All right, Mike, so today I finally got around to pulling down my swarm trap. Probably should have done this a few months ago. Um, it's beginning of December now, so um, I haven't really done any good for quite some time. Um, didn't catch anything in this trap. Um, this is the only trap I put out this year. I didn't have any luck, but um, I'm going to try again next year. Next year, maybe I can get some more flowers planted around the area where this is at or something to maybe draw it in. But next year, well, I'll put it out again. Um, I might do the same tree. I might do a different tree. Not 100% sure yet. Uh, the tree I put it in is right around where I intended to put the hive. So we'll see if I decide to put it in a different location or not next year. Um, if I do a video, whenever I set it back out, um, hopefully this winter I'll go ahead and get the beehive made up. Um, I never did this year. So this has been my first attempt into trying to get into some beekeeping. I don't have any, I haven't gotten any bees yet. I don't want to buy any. I don't have the finances really to drop a couple hundred dollars on a swarm of bees. Um, I try to do everything as cost effectively as possible around here. Uh, try to use what I have to to make do. Um, I try not to be excessive in spending. It just helps stretch what we have. Um, it's also less wasteful. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna open this up and just kind of inspect the inside, see uh, what it looks like, see if the frames are still holding together, see if there's any other bugs that have looked like they've been in and out of there. Uh, if, it, if anything looks like um, it needs adjusted or cleaned up before I store it away. Uh, I plan on covering uh, this front hole here, uh, probably with just some tape, and then that'll seal this up to where nothing's going to be able to get in it. So then I got to take off a couple screws and then we'll check out the inside. All right, so the inside looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's really seen any activity of any sort. Um, the starter strips are kind of warped. There's still quite a bit of, so yeah, with it having still quite a bit of that lemongrass oil in there, I don't know. If I did that wrong, I'm going to have to look it up with these if I did something wrong with that. I, don't know, I wouldn't think that would still have so much in there after um, many months in there. I don't remember when I put that out there, but it's probably been five or six months. So... I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Maybe I did something wrong. Or maybe you're supposed to open the caps in the top or something. Not sure. Um, that's uh, supposed to be a lure to kind of make them. Uh, it's supposed to smell like uh, the pheromones that they would put off whenever they find a home that they like. But I will have to probably fix these little starter ships I've got in here. Maybe take them out altogether. I don't know. I decided. So I'm gonna. So I'm gonna put this all back together, and I will just leave it as is for now. Next year I'll pull it all out. I will straighten the starter strips for the honeycomb, and 
make any other adjustments I think I need to make. Look into these lures a little bit more. Look into anything else I might be, uh, might be doing wrong. Um, as far as this, um, I don't, I didn't really see very many honeybees around the area this year, so maybe that's part of the problem. There just aren't any here, so I need to maybe try to plant some um, more flowers and stuff that might attract them, and something like that. So uh, I'm gonna do a little more research, and maybe I'll have better luck next year. If you have any suggestions, drop a comment below and. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up if you're inclined to do so and follow along, subscribe if you want uh, to see how this ends up next year. And if I get around to making the beehive this winter or spring or whenever it comes around, thanks for checking out this video and I hope you have a very blessed day.